Hello, Sans yes, and welcome back to Let's Play Genzo Shoujo Tyson. Last time, one of the most powerful yokai of them all in Gensokyo, Yuka Kazumi, has appeared. You might still remember her from uh, Toho Mother, the third playable character, the physically strongest character you could play. Exactly that character, yeah. And this time around, we will have to fight her! <laughs> this is going to hurt. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, uh, to get the WP bonus, we'll have to defeat uh, defeat yeah, to attack Yuka twice, or be attacked by her. That works too. Um, on easy, we'd have to battle her once. On hard and lunatic, three and four times respectively. But fortunately, we're only playing on normal. Also, um. Off screen, those two very maze decided to attack me. Or Kirino, rather. And got quite a beat for that, actually. Well, it's their own fault. Okay, let's see the old points with them. Alright. Let's see Alice, because she got. Hard a bit last time. Ooh, nice level up. And yeah, let's move on with everyone else. Actually, um, for the next few rounds, I'm mostly please. Um, I'll be mostly moving up to Yuka up here uh, from this left side here because because the middle path here is blocked off by Sakya, and she will start attacking you. Um, no one should start moving in on you, but <laughs> well, we still wouldn't want to uh, get too close to her. And unfortunately, this right path here is blocked off by this wall here. So unfortunately, we all have to move uh, to the left over here. And since that will take quite a lot of time, I believe I'm gonna cut out that traveling part. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, those four fairmates have started moving um, from turn 8 on. And actually, we want to defeat those four fairmates here, mostly with Alice and Marisa, so they can gain a little more power. We want both of them to have uh, 150 power, the power maximum in this game here. And, uh, yeah, to make the uh, battle later on a little easier against Yuka. Um, I kind of want Yuma to have a little bit of power as well. Um, yeah, let's attack you with the, uh, those very much with other two. And hope that she doesn't accidentally die. Oh, uh, yeah, that one. Ooh, no counter, nice. Critical! And a level up! Go, Yuma! Yeah, usually uh, well, you get quite a bit of power when uh, defeating an enemy unit, so uh, that's why I recommend recommended last time to defeat most of the fairies down there with Alice and Marisa. And I'll let Yuturi stay down here, since she's later on going to be a decoy for Isaki. Let's see... Yeah, let's move Dayo's a little closer as well. Because we probably need some healing. Eventually. Yeah, that one it takes money, so okay. Good enough. Yeah, illusion laser. Let's hope she'll wait. She did! Nice! That one it takes Yuma. Okay, 90% should be good enough. Half goes blocked. Okay, that works too. Move. Two. Nice. Okay, let's see, Ellis, you had how much power, um, 145, Marisa, almost maximum, actually I wouldn't even have to attack with her anymore. Oh, uh, let's see, that one's almost dead already. Oh uh, yeah, half goes to move it up, 
I don't want to move too close to Sakya since she's... I believe she will move in on you if you're 11 or 12 tiles away from her. And I believe moving uh, up here or this space even could be a little too close already. And since I don't want to risk anything, I believe I'll just stay here. I got a critical, nice. Okay, now yeah, let's at least attack with Marisa. So, um... Yeah, so the uh, enemies will be a little weakened. No, don't just bomb. Yeah, for sacrifice, yeah, okay. Don't want to move too close. Level up, nice. That'll make the battle later on a lot easier. And I won't attack uh, the last fray down there. I probably could be sure with Kirino, but actually cannot. Yes, I can, but like I said, I don't want to move all too close. Uh, yeah, Kirino's power is unimportant anyway. Let's move up here with Kirino. Uh, might as well would need something healing. Her. Right. And yeah, those two are the last characters we could use, but what do you mean I can counterattack? Oh well. At least that should help you on this power a bit. She's strong. Um yeah, something I haven't talked about yet is uh, the character's personality. What that does basically is, um, depending on what personality a character has, different uh, events will raise your power by a bit. Characters like Marisa, let's see what character uh, personality is from, well, too. Okay, I believe she um, gets an increase in uh, power when waiting an attack, so the same should be with Yoma, shouldn't it? Okay. Um. Okay, I'll move one spot closer. This. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's something to keep in mind if you want to raise the power level of your characters. Or if you want to prevent the power of an enemy unit to rise. Which I'm actually trying to do with Yuka. <laughs> and by the way, uh, if you shoot down an enemy unit, all of your team members will, um, will get a gain in power by one. Additionally. There's a good uh, map on which event will trigger uh, which po uh, how much power will go up whatever uh, on the Toho wiki so if you want to know that in depth I would recommend uh, yeah going there and looking that up actually most of my information uh, I've received from Toho wiki all from my notes uh. okay my game got stuck there for quite a bit I just Save to um, hopefully not lose my data. Ooh. That was the first time I uh, a game got actually Sonic Generations. <laughs> Good thing the, uh, the game didn't crash just there. Ooh. I wouldn't want to. Okay, so far there hasn't been uh, anything all too troublesome. Annoying maybe, but not difficult. Um, yeah, okay. More characters heal up? Yeah, mostly. Okay, let's move here now up here. Alice, yeah, let's move her to the back. Since we want to attack with her, um, well, from far. Either with Oddful Sacrifice or Shanghai Ball. Mostly with the latter, though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's leave it at, uh, at that. Okay, um, Rumia, let's move her up here. 
Let's go frame uh, this spot here. Yomo, yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's move Kiana once more. Kina. And yeah, that also will stay back here as well. Alright. That should be it for the preparation. And let's start attacking Ellie and Kurumi. Because they will <laughs> be a little bit annoying. Okay. Uh, first off, something you might want to take note of is um, Yuka's Danaku Barrage here. How big is that anyway? Whoa, 10 tiles? Seriously, Yuka? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, her Damaku Barrage, which is quite huge, um, will give you a penalty of 40 in defense and quite a bit of movement penalty. And it will always activate your grace, even if you're unfocused. So, yeah, let's focus. <laughs> There's no reason not to, really. Actually, I believe the SP penalty will uh, not activate when you're not focused, but race activates. Yeah, if you deal the uh, final blow, you might want to take off the uh, focus. Um, yeah. Kena, you move forward as well. Alice. And Marisa. Okay. Yeah, let's move forward as well. Alright, D3's still done there. I was already wondering, oh, who was the last person there? And today I must being attacked. I don't know if I should say good or bad. Hmm, actually. I would probably anyway, if the tech is today in anyway. Um, although we might want to get a little closer to Kurumi. Since she is better in long range. Uh, you know what, let's you wait. Of course, Kurumi. Nice. Barely any damage. And Yuka will only attack us once we are 5 steps away from her. Next, let's take a look at her range. Nitori, we're. Uh, yeah, I have more than enough SP to waste. So, let's show you Yuka. Okay, first of all, her mobility is crap, like, in pretty much any game. But unfortunately, her armor stat is the highest in the entire game, I believe. And wow, she costs a lot to repair. Yeah, she has the size of L, so it, um, damaging her will be even more troublesome than it already is. Also, she has the ability Copy Image, which will grant her a 50% chance of dodging any incoming attack. Once your power is over 130. Yes! Ouch! And she has the Sunflower equipped, which will recover 10 MP per turn. Still good enough to, to want it. Also, uh, she wields the Parry skill, level 3, so yeah, ass attacks will suck horribly in this battle. And uh, shield defense, level 4 which will decrease your attacking power, if you're unlucky. Spirits, well, don't really have to bother us in normal. Also, her personality is Sadist, so she will get power by... Oh, wait, let me take a look real quick. There we go. Okay, um, yeah. Yuka's personality is a Sadist, or Des in, uh, well, uh, Dos, I mean. Bring with the um, do in katakana and a uh, well, lead in S. Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, she's a sadist, which will mean that whenever you hit her, she will get three power. Wait, no. I asked you. If she hits one of us, well, one of our characters, she will get three power. 
If an enemy is defeated, she will get free power. Plus that one, uh, uh, she, she will always get when a character is defeated, an enemy one. Um, yeah, the character is defeated. And if an ally is destroyed, she will also gain plus one power, which is why her power is 106 already. Because we defeated two of the fairies um, when she was already there. Which is why I told you to defeat all those fairies as fast as possible. Plus the four uh, we defeated this episode. So yeah, yes, her range is uh, her maximum range is five. So you probably would want to stay uh, five, uh, six spaces away from her. And she has a map attack. Map attacks we didn't have one yet. Did we? Um, I'll get into that later. She actually uses that, or when another character uses that, because you actually do not want her to use her wide lace, because that is your yeah, that is pretty much your certain doom. So yeah, uh, Kurumi, right? <laughs> She's actually the one we have to worry about. Uh, spread laser for and ah, nuts. Okay, I kind of want to. Kurumi to use her spread, spread laser on Rumia because of her shade ability, but unfortunately, um, Rumia does not have the required range. But at least she has the required tankiness to withstand some of the attacks. Nice thing. 45 accuracy. Gee, what's wrong with your accuracy, Kurumi? I know you're a. Uh, you're a range character, so why is your accuracy that high? Uh, oh well. Half ghost. Mm. Yeah, it's better than uh, Kirino's evasion. Grace, nice! Okay, she has 4,214 left. Uh, let's see, Kana can't attack now. Hmm. Okay, let's risk it. Yeah, she is focusing. Come on, he Wade! Not you! Critic! You hate me, Kurumi, don't you? Okay. In that case... Persuasion Needle... I kinda wanna have a... Uh, want to save my ass at you for later. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, let's see. Ellis... She can attack, actually. Nice. Okay, then let's let Ellis do the final blow. I don't mind. <laughs> Little Ellis. <laughs> Some things are better untold, Kurumi. But yeah, Yuka actually knows Ellis from Mystic Square, when Yuka was actually one of the playable playable characters, so... Yeah... WHAT THE?! Hey, COME ON! Kurumi, stop doing that! <sighs> but, um, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Yuka actually knows Alice. Yuka caused quite some trouble back then. <laughs> Although Alice was a lot better seeing uh, that she was so mad at people infiltrating Makai that, hey, don't move, you never do that. Um, that she actually, um, became a express stage boss. One of the most difficult, actually. <laughs> I still haven't beaten her. But on the other hand, I still haven't beaten most of the extra stage boss. What do you mean a lot of things? This is the first encounter since you've last seen Yuka. Assuming you have seen Yuka during Mystic Square. And if not, her, um... No, you're okay. Uh, her, uh, incident was just one incident, uh, before. Should I risk it? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Nice. Uh, yeah. 
but for some reason, even though Yuka is supposed to be one of the most powerful yokai of them all, I always have the easiest time defeating her in Lotus Land story. I don't know why either. But heck, I lose more lives against uh, against Dreyma in stage four than against Yuka in stage five and six combined. That's pathetic. Yeah, it's probably her and Young Lost though. I always have trouble against those. Uh, oh. 1,300... <laughs> yeah, Nightbird should be enough. If it actually is. Come on, you could... Can... Unfocus, please. <laughs> I'll get all of my bonuses. Come on, it. Nice! And Kurumi is down! Which will increase Yuka's power by one again. And do we miss all if I want to? Nice. And we got a bomb. We will definitely need that later on. Actually, both of our bombs. Because Yuka alone. Yeah. <laughs> she is the most difficult boss in this. Um, in this game for nothing. Ugh. If she actually hits, I believe Gilm would drop that. That happened. You can attack, nice. Top of my skill. Yeah, she still has those two. Although they aren't sanctioned anymore, fortunately. Oh, critical, nice. Um, yeah, let's move one space closer with my stuff. Uh, let's see, evil ceiling circle. Hmm. Actually, I need my uh, Rebus MP later on, but at least so annoying right now. Let's use it. Or not. Seriously! What's with your accuracy today? Uh, oh. Okay, that would explain it. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's. Let's try it. Let's play it risky. Nice. Go Yoma. Uh, after a sacrifice. Ugh. A lot of accuracy here too. But Ella should actually survive that. <laughs> really? Wow. Alice must have left quite an impression on Yuka. <laughs> well, yeah, she has changed quite a bit, but she's still Alice. Um, nah. Wait, who was right? I still Okay, let's use the Persuasion Needles and hope that'll deal enough damage. Or not. That's far too much accuracy there. Now let's end the turn. For now. Okay, let's see, wait. Waste, nice. You yeah, definitely want to, um... Uh, to take some time here. Because one wrong attack might kill you. Seriously. Um focus. Actually that is nothing. <laughs> oh right, it does increase our defense. Um rather we gave the penalty round. Okay. Crit hmm. That was a critical? I know the miss attack, but she's still S sized. I'm fine with that. Okay, let's see. Who should be at the finishing blow? <laughs> 150 power, can't raise any... Uh, 150 is the maximum power level we can get during a battle. Um, nah, you're almost good enough. We don't need you for attacking anyway. 
Um, why did it check that? Okay. Um, yeah, they might actually want to. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, no. Let's see the level. Kena, Kerna, no, Nitri is way off, so we can't use her. Hmm. I don't want to lose one power though to waste. But Kena does need the level. And so does Kena. Yeah, so does Kena. <laughs> Let's do that. Should have unfocused. Oh well. Quite a lot of points. Quite a bit of experience too, and some grace. And a level up! Nice! Just what I wanted. Okay, now before we start attacking Yuka, we definitely, definitely want to heal up all of our characters. Or at least the ones actually going to battle. Um. Alright. Yeah, we'll use... Alright. Kind of do need here. Oops. <laughs> um... No, you can leave you, actually. Yeah, I should stay from... Uh... From Sakya. Okay. Okay. We want Alice to move here. Might as well be here. Oh, no, no, from here. Um... Yeah, let's move those two here. Okay. Yeah, we, uh, later on we want to use Master Spark and Shanghai Doll in a support attack against Yukon. Mm, yeah, let's let's move Raymond. Where? Up here. And yeah, like I said, like I believe I said, Yuka will not move uh, during this battle. So, as long as you're not in attacking range, you are pretty much safe from her. Alright, that's that for this round. Doma, she does seem to be healed. I guess I'll... Um, spend the rest of the time, or actually, eh, the rest until next episode with healing off screen. Uh, so yeah, next episode, we will try and defeat Yuka here on Let's Play Genzo Shoujo Tyson. This was NCS, until next time, have a nice day!